So I think my firm fostered people being social butterflies, people being humans, um, having work and also having time to play. I think it was very important at my firm, which I am forever grateful for. Uh, but back to the point. I used to have so much fun in the CSR and the sports and social events. So you could get to then know your partner, get to know your um your seniors, get to know your colleagues in an off work environment, like your sports days. Uh, we had like a Brian at the stars at one point. We had um like um we went to the cinema to watch the football game. Was it a football game? Or was it Wakanda? I don't remember. We had Winky D come through at some point. That was so much fun. Um, we had AM King come through at some point to do the sax thing. We had Women's Day events. Oh my goodness. That used to be such a nice place to work at because we used to have so much fun. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mo Chifamba and if you're new here, welcome, welcome on this channel. We talk about careers. If this is your second time and your third time and you're a subscriber, thank you for stopping by. Welcome. And if you're not yet a subscriber and this is not the first time you're seeing my face or stopping on my videos, I would genuinely ask you to consider, uh, because it seems the content I create relates with you. So today's video is bittersweet. It's sweet in that I'm being discharged and I'm out of articles, but it's bitter because I am leaving the firm that has been um, my home for the past 40 months. Um, and I think for that, I will need a minute. Today, I am going to be talking to you guys and letting you know, guys, the best things that came with training at a big four firm. I am not going to tell you which big four firm I trained at because I don't know the rules, the protocols and whatever. But if you follow me long enough, you will know the firm that I did my article at. And I mean, it's the best of the best in them. So, yeah, uh, the first thing that training at a big four firm gave me was I said this to my people when I was leaving and I'm going to say it again right now. The first thing that the big four firm gave me was a massive network. What do I mean? By being part of a big four, the big four don't play when it comes to recruitment. They take the cream de la creme, right? So they take the 15 pointers, they take the 14 pointers, they take the people who can present themselves well in um in interviews and i do believe i was a cream de la cream also that's why i was chosen and i was also among the cream de la, the cream de la cream so you are surrounded by highly ambitious successful people and you have the opportunity to work with these guys make them your friends make them your sisters your brothers and also because of their uh client best you're also being exposed to um the captains of industry of the big companies so the network that comes with training at a big four firm is vast if you ask me um i wouldn't trade it for anything the second thing is the client but it's the exposure because the big four firms are respected in the market and and um, outside the accounting market they get to be the auditors of the biggest firms so for example if you take the zimbabwe stock exchange listed companies you will get that most if not all of them most 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 of them are being audited by a big four firm so what does that mean it means by joining a big four firm you give yourself the exposure to their clients and you get to learn about those businesses you get to interact with the business executives you get to interact with 
um, the, uh, these clients in a nutshell to just add value to that, understand that business and the exposure it gives you guys, the systems and everything, it's timeless and I cannot put an amount on how much it's worth. By being part of a big four firm, you become part of a global network of firms. If you're the kind of person who likes to learn, you are guaranteed a world-class experience at work. So um, I remember that in my firm, we used to have something called the technical library, and it was just a vast amount of accounting standards, auditing standards, financial statements, issues, write-ups, it's like everything you needed. It was like your Bible, if you're a Christian. The technical library was like your Bible. And what that does is it gives you a vast number of resources that you can use if you want to learn. Then the, the fourth thing that training at a big four firm gave me was growth, exponential growth growth if you are willing to pull your weight you'll find yourself with so much responsibility um you'll find yourself with uh so much work and with that work that people complain about with that work comes growth okay so you will find yourself exponentially growing and i want to ex to i want to re-emphasize this point the person that came in was a student was a trainee yes i had been on presentations before i was pretty confident in myself but the person that left that was a professional and how did i get to be the professional that is because of the exponential growth because you're not dealing with small clients you're dealing with the biggest clients in the country you're dealing with the biggest company probably in those sectors and you have to show up for it the big four experience sort of does not give you an option other than to show up and what that does is it gives you growth you grow and um i myself i can feel it even my partner um when i was about to leave one of my favorite partners sent me down and said the person that came into the, into this firm and the person that is leaving this firm is different and i am proud of the growth you have shown and yes i have grown the fifth thing that the that is good about training at a big four firm is the um, authenticity that came with it um having trained for my article so when i walked into <laughs> into the firm i had a preconception of who i was who i was who i needed to be then i got into the firm and everyone is just telling about their stories what they were doing over the weekend or what they were doing last year or at class or what and then you realize you know that everyone here is fighting their own struggles that's one to everyone's just trying to survive and everyone's just trying to learn grow and live right so it shortens the need for you to fit into a stereotype for you to fit into a certain perspective of a person it gives you the opportunity to actually just be yourself be your damn self if you want and you like to drink a glass of wine on the side once a week it's okay if you don't want it's still okay if you're the kind of person that wants to go to maestro pablo's at the end of the day it's okay because you'll meet your managers there you'll meet your partner there but if you're also the kind of person that just wants to go to church it's okay you also meet your partners there you'll meet your friends there so it gives you the opportunity to just be your authentic self there is no judgment there it's very amazing Maybe it's because it used to be an elite profession. I don't know. But I didn't, I never once felt judged. I felt like I was in a safe place where I could do what I needed to do. Then the other thing is promotion is guaranteed. So unlike industry where there is uh, politics, at a big four firm, you know that if you pull your weight and you work on your competencies and your professional, your, the expectations that are there for your level, you know that by the next profession round, you're being promoted to level one, level two. If you're level three, you're going to level four if you pull your weight. But 
there is a part there. If you don't pull your weight, they don't mind not promoting you. You will not get promoted. Okay? So promotion is guaranteed if you're the kind of person that knows how to pull their weight. The respect that is associated with big four firms automatically became associated with me. Uh, so what do I mean? Big four firms are associated with respect, excellency, people who are smart, people who are diligent, people who show up and show out, people who deliver, people who, who bring value. And by association and me being part of a big four firm, that came with me and it's good as let's say now i want to go to work at another big four firm out of zim i find that easy uh when i finished my articles i uh, was discharged which was last month i found that it was easy for me to get jobs out of zim uh with other big four firms with smaller firms like there is no limit and also even within zimbabwe of jobs outside ordered jobs outside uh, the profession like being an fm whatever i do feel like me being part of a big four firm helped me so much because um i was at excellence was attached to me and my name and i could use that experience to just get into everything i wanted to go into then the other thing is training so i know that my firm was subscribed to say like other trainings like um, i saw someone post about linkedin trainings there's a lot so if you go into your which also comes with development every six months there's a performance review and in the performance review a person your seniors write uh their development points that they think you should improve on also going to an, a different manager who is assigned to you and the different the manager comes up with a developmental plan of what do you need to develop on and in some cases where you need um training so for example how to speak um how to manage your time or the soft skills even the not so soft skills there's always a training there because the big fours as i said in my point number three or four where i was talking about resources there are so many resources so you can use this to tailor make this for your own development not just thinking of promotion but if you're looking in terms of um time management for your own development you can use those resources if you're a person who likes to read if you're a person who likes to develop themselves the big four will be a safe ground for you um then the other thing <laughs> this is my favorite part about my training this was my favorite part i loved the csr and the parties that we got to be part of so at my firm and i think this is across all big four firms although i think my firm fostered people being social butterflies people being humans um having work and also having time to play i think it was very important at my firm which i am forever grateful for uh but back to the point i used to have so much fun in the csr and the sports and social events so you could get to then know your partner get to know your um your seniors get to know your colleagues in an off work environment like your sports days uh we had like a brian at the stars at one point we had um like um we went to the cinema to watch the football game was it a football game or was it wakanda I remember we had Winky D come through at some point. That was so much fun. Um, we had RM King come through at some point to do the sax thing. We had Women's Day events. Oh my goodness. That used to be such a nice place to work at because we used to have so much fun. Yes, and you get that, I think by being part of a big four firm so i don't know if by now i haven't told you to be part of a big four firm uh i will try one last time other thing is the culture this is going to be the last thing on my pros the culture to help at the big fours everyone wants to help of course then they're outliers like people were just i don't know what to call them um uh, but 
um, everyone just wants to help. So if you want, you cannot understand your assignment and you need help, it's just a matter of you shouting that you need help and someone will help you. I got help from my seniors. I got help from my stream mates because you know, like even though you're on the same stream, you don't have the same assignments. So you get to, you can lean off each other's strengths and each other's assignments. I got even help from my partners. The thing that you can just pick up your phone and say, um, hi to the partner. I'm feeling A, B, C, D, like the whole culture to help. And also the open door policy, like they define open door policy to the maximum. You can literally just walk into the CEO's managing partner's office and have a conversation with him, learn what you need to learn. Um, so that culture to help others and the open door policy was one of the best things about the big four firms. Big four firm that I was part of, just one. Anyway, now not everything is nice about the big four i will tell you the cons just in case someone is trying to uh, just in case someone is trying to make a decision of whether they want to go into a big four firm or not so i'll just give you some cons so the first con that i will help tell you is that um the issue about so you get into the firm you're not just one um they were taking streams of 20 15 i, I don't really know the numbers but there are a lot of you so it's very easy and as much as all these pros i've told you the other con is if you're not out there if you don't want to sell yourself it's very easy to disappear into the background now that might not be necessarily a bad thing but i've never been one for background so it's very easy for you to just swim into the background. It's easy to just be in the background. You don't even say anything about your planning because you're not that kind of person. But what the big four firm does by that is the other side. It teaches you to actually just be yourself and to stand up for yourself. Like if you're planning on a client and you feel you don't need to be on this client, you can actually go to the planning manager and talk and have a conversation about it with them. But if you're not a kind of person who can stand up for themselves, it's very easy, as I've said, to just disappear into the background and just be unseen. But it's very highly unlikely that you will continue to be invisible. You just won't be high par. Because the cause of the six monthly evaluations, everyone goes through it. I uh, then they have a meeting at management and then so everyone's name is going to come up. I'm just saying if you're not if you want to be up there, up, 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 up and you just don't know how to stand up for yourself sometimes you might find it hard and easy to just disappear into the background. Then the second thing, the second con is the money. <laughs> I, I don't know what the business model is for firms in the but firms do not pay now i didn't mind it until i was discharged i didn't mind it why because i was getting way more than what money could give me what do i mean the big four is giving me exposure the big four is giving me um the competencies the skills the training that i needed for me to become a charter accountant for me to become who I am and who I'm going to be. So I didn't really mind the money. It's like I was in school. So the allowance was okay. But post qualification, post being discharged, the money starts to sting. But if so, I have said this in a prior video where I said, if you have a family, joining the big four might not be the biggest, the best idea unless you're ready to downgrade your life. Because I think the motto is around students who are just there to uh advance themselves as i'm saying like me to just get their training and become digital contents and then uh do other things so yes the money is long then um Then um, the other reason is also that I've had people complain about a lot is high pressure. Now, um, 
I'm in no means saying be a machine, but what I'm saying is pressure makes diamonds. <laughs> um, there is higher pressure at the big fours. Why? Because of the type of clients they serve, because of the deadline. So as I've said before, most of the clients are listed on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange. The stock exchange is deadlines for submission of financials, uh, publishing of financials, and stuff like that. So they have those deadlines that are very they're not as flexible as maybe smaller firms where the deadline can be pushed and moved um so for the big four the deadline is there the client needs to publish by three months post year end and because it does and also because this client is the biggest probably in their sector there's so much work to do there and still the time is not budging because the stock exchange is not waiting for who 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 they want their first starts in three months so there is going to be higher pressure but if you're going to do your articles and you know have three years of training intense training i would say you already expected it but that's me but when i went into it i expected it uh and how much pressure is this pressure um i remember at one time before i joined the big four i was told you would leave work at 4 a.m and then you expected back at work at 8. i think i only was at work up until those weird hours when i was on a stock count and even then when you're on a stock count the following day you're allowed to take part of the day or like the rest of the morning or the whole day off if you've been at a stock count for like 18 hours or 12 hours okay i'm scaring you but well you're allowed to take the the day off the highest pressure i felt was for an out-of-town client and that out-of-town client needed us to finish that work because we need to come back to our area you know like us being out there is expensive for both the client and the firm and we're also not home so we wanted also to come back home i remember we would go home probably nine ten for like two weeks and i promise you that was the worst pressure i felt but other days you would go home at eight come back at eight but the work is just so much sometimes uh you also need to take care of your mental health but these firms also also realize this i don't know if yours doesn't mine did and we used to get like as i said this person social event to just relax wind down and if you needed leave you talk to your managers some of them were very forthcoming and very helpful in giving you that leave then the last thing i want to talk about is the lack of variety yes once you become a senior you're stuck with one client because you can't afford to be moving around and going for client going for client once you become a senior clients become your babies so you're stuck with a client and you might get bored and you know like with zim some of these clients don't end they just they like like ghost like hovering over there like just there and hovering and not finishing things on time and then you, you go to sleep and you're just there like, dreaming of financial statements and hyper financial statements yes they are there the clients like that so yes that is also a con but other than that, I really enjoyed my articles experience. I wouldn't change anything. Um, what I would change probably was the Zim economy. Because before the Zim economy went bonkers, um, our salaries were pretty decent. But I wouldn't change anything about my articles experience. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was truly an experience that was mine. That I got an opportunity to right for myself and i'm forever grateful to the firm my blood will always be green does that count as me telling you what firm that was <laughs> but yeah i am very grateful to the firm all right that brings me to the end of this video if you have anything or if you've trained a firm and you want to sign off use the comment section guys like comment share my video because that helps with the algorithm and it helps uh for me to get this video uh being suggested to other people like you so that my channel can grow and maybe i can take you with me on this journey on this channel